Well, it seems Sargon has uploaded a fascinating video, and not the pleasant kind of fascinating either. Let's have a look, shall we? You must be fucking kidding me. Samantha B, there isn't a smug liberal problem. Look at the expression on her fucking face. So I guess when it's someone else, attitude is important. But if it's relating to you, Sargon, I guess it's not important. You are the smug liberal problem, Samantha. And I guess since you consider yourself a liberal, you're a smug liberal problem as well, right? Or is your smugness not smug? Smuggity, smug, smug. Oh, that's right. You can go well beyond smugness and start berating and laughing at people. And that's okay because, well, you know, at least it's not a woman being smug, right? We should have the Samantha B challenge. How long can you sit through a video of Samantha B without wanting to tear your own fucking head off? It should be something that we should... I mean, we should actually have a competition about this. I don't think I've ever managed to watch an entire one of her videos. I get to about, I don't know, three or four minutes into like a seven to ten minute video, and I just want to die. When asked by Tapper about the role of comedy in the Trump era, something far outside of her field of expertise, B, B said that she and her team mostly did the show for ourselves. Really, that comes as absolutely no fucking surprise, Samantha, given how fundamentally narcissistic, self-serving, and honestly totally unself-aware you are, I'm not surprised that a show as shit as yours is made by an in-house team of people who are, I think, can be generously descri be described as human-shaped skid marks on the underwear of society. Something to take note of here is that the majority of people's complaints about people being smug is towards women being smug. Something I find interesting about this is that there are a lot of YouTubers out there who claim that attitude is not important, but then they show that they do find it important if a bad attitude is paired with femininity. Or a smug attitude is paired with femininity. So let's take Autopsy87 as an example. He preaches to people all the time that his attitude shouldn't make any difference about the message, and he complains about people being pussies for not being able to put up with his attitude because, you know, facts. But yet, if someone makes a video towards him, like I have in my Buffalo Kiz persona, Hi, it's Buffalo Kiz. He utterly refuses to listen because he can't take an equally condescending attitude that he dishes out if the attitude is feminine. But, you know, I thought attitudes don't matter. Funny how that works, isn't it? To anyone wondering why I made my video responses to Undoomed and Autopsy 87 and Live Life 8072 the way I did in that whole Buffalo Kids persona, that's exactly why, to show their hypocrisy about attitudes. At least here with Sargon, he's fully admitting that he cares a lot about attitudes, except when people complain about his attitude and then it's different, mostly because, you know, most likely because, you know, he's masculine. Despite the fact that you all have successful jobs, successful careers, and lots of money, and connections, how can people with that many privileges be a bunch of fucking losers? How did you get usurped by the plebeians? You'll never know because you have got no capacity for self-reflection or introspection. Projection? Projection? So what would you know? Yes, what would you know, Sargon? B said when balancing humour with political comedy commentary, her instinct is always to lean in the direction of funny. <laughs> no different than you. You think you're hilarious and you'll laugh at someone for a full minute. Because, you know, you're so not smug, right? Because you are so fucking smug. You think you're completely right on everything and therefore no one else's life experience could have any validity. Projection? Projection? It, it's honestly baffling that anyone can be so coddled in a bubble like that. Projection? Projection? The person who wrote that column, it's his opinion. But if that opinion is shared almost as a carbon copy 
by millions of other people, it's no longer just one person's opinion. It'd be nice if you held yourself to the same standards as well as the other YouTubers who are anti-SJWs and anti-feminists. I mean, you know, after all, you're just one person and it's just one person's opinion, right? It doesn't have any effect on anyone else, right? Now it's millions of one person's opinion. And they have an opinion, and they have an effect, and they vote, Samantha. Yeah, and that's why here in the United States, we have Trump as president. What I'm saying is, anything that you attach yourself to is a net deficit for that cause. Projection? Projection? You are a drag weight on these things, and yet, somehow, you are managing to profit from it. And now it's time for me to laugh at you. <laughs> it's incredible to me. I mean, I just it's the power of people buying into a delusion that you're funny and now they've bought into that delusion. I'm done here. I don't think I need to say any more about this video.